Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your love reading for May 2022. I'll be taking a look at your love interests, how they're viewing you, their feelings and actions they plan on taking, and then towards the end, I'll be taking a look at singles looking for new love and some other good stuff. All right, Libra, please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. Let's go ahead and see what the person on your mind wants to tell you. What are their energies surrounding you at this time? Guiding okay, just Holy Spirit, please give me three cards. What is this person's energy surrounding Libra? All right. Under the deck you have, it's not you, I'm just really busy. And the cards that flow up here for you, I'm bluffing. You are on my mind all day and fairy tale lover. Wow, Libra, so far so good. I feel like whoever it is that you're interested in, they think about you a lot here. Um, I feel like this person has genuine interest in you. They see you as like this fairy tale lover. And I also feel like you make this person nervous. Maybe you are not communicating as much with this individual at this time, or maybe you feel like at times they take a while to respond, or they may be acting a little different, and the reason behind that is because they are really busy with other things going on. Let's go ahead and see how this person is viewing you. God and just Holy Spirit, how is this person viewing Libra? How is this person viewing Libra? How is this person viewing Libra? Tell me more. What are their feelings for Libra? What is this person's feelings for Libra? What action does this person plan on taking? What action does this person plan on taking towards Libra? Okay, so under the deck you do have bound. This card reminds me a lot of the devil card, which is Capricorn. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone who has Capricorn in their chart. Does not have to be though. I do feel the energy where this person's obsessively thinking about you. Maybe they're a little bit obsessive about you, but let's go ahead and dig further. How this person is viewing you, divine, feminine, and conclusion. So one of two things, Libra, they could be viewing you like you're ending a situation in your life or you've ended things with them. Let's go ahead and dig further. I do feel like they are viewing you as very in touch with your emotions. Someone who's not afraid to maybe express themselves. God, Angel, Holy Spirit, how is this person viewing Libra? Give me clear messages. How is this person viewing Libra? The world card in reverse. Could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. The Hermit, Virgo energy. And the Eight of Swords. Wow, okay. So I definitely feel like this person is viewing you like there's unfinished business here. You could be at a distance from this person. Okay, so with the Hermit card here, they see you as taking a time out here, contemplating, really trying to gain some type of clarity, maybe spending time alone, not really making them a priority at this time. This is not you. This could very much be their energy. Now, with the Eight of Swords, they could be viewing you like feeling stuck in a situation or feeling, yeah, I feel the energy of feeling trapped. So, I don't know if you are trapped either in a situation or with another person, Libra. This could also be like you trapped in your mind or having some type of mental conflict. Tell me more. How is this person doing, Libra? Why is a hermit here? Why is a hermit here for Libra? For how this person is viewing them. The King of Wands. This person could simply be viewing you as very wise. If you're still talking to them and there's no break here, then this could just mean that they're viewing you as someone who's very wise, very intellectual, and very, very attractive with the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Very, very attractive. Why is the Eight of Swords here? How this person 
Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like they're viewing you as possibly rejecting them at this time or taking the time to think of whether or not you want to accept this love offer. Some of you could be in another situation or maybe they are. If this person is in a connection already, Libra, I feel like they are they are unhappy and they want to have a new beginning with you. But again, it's like they don't know how to escape the situation or break free from some type of conflict. This person's feelings for you, you have abandoned. So right now, your person is feeling abandoned by you or rejected. Let's see what this is all about. Tell me about this person's feelings for Libra. Tell me about this person's feelings for Libra. Four of Pentacles in reverse. This person's feelings for Libra, please. The Page of Pentacles. And the tower in reverse. I'm picking up on heavy Capricorn Virgo Taurus in your reading, Libra. Again, could be a fixed sign, maybe even an Aries here. But this person could be younger than you, or maybe you're younger. But regardless, I feel like they want to make you some type of offer, or they want to give you some type of gift. Yeah, I feel like they want to do this very slowly here. They don't want to rush anything because they're scared of you know, causing some type of disaster or conflict, or they're scared of how fast things could move. This person could also be scared of rejection. But I see that they're wanting to no longer hold back. They want to like come forward towards you with some type of information or gift. Tell me more about this person's feelings. Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, Libra. This is going to be a very specific message for some of you. Right now, this person wants to come forward and offer you something. But the thing is that you might have rejected this person in the past or you may have said something which is making them feel some type of fear of coming forward. They're trying to avoid a tower moment. They're trying to avoid some type of rejection. But I feel like it's really, really burdening them. And again, it could be vice versa. If this person left you out in the cold, they may be like embarrassed and ashamed for doing so, but I see that this person is wanting to come back here. But somebody left someone out here in the cold. I'm also picking up the energy of ghosting. Yeah, three of swords. Could have been a third party situation, a betrayal, deception. For some of you, this person realized that whoever it is that they were dealing with or who they chose was not a soulmate. I'm hearing karmic partner. But that's for very few of you. For others of you, there could have just been some ghosting involved, some indecisiveness, and now like this person is fearing that the same story could repeat. But I feel like this person sees you as like a fairy tale lover. They've been thinking a lot about you. You make them nervous. I don't know if like the times you've hung out with this person, I'm even picking up on FaceTime when you FaceTime them, like they're very nervous. They can't stay still or they have a trouble, they have trouble making eye contact or they play with their hair a lot. Yeah, very specific message. Now the action this person plans on taking, we have awakening. Okay, so I see your person going through some type of awakening. Let's see what this is all about. Tell me about this awakening for the action this person plans on taking towards Libra. Action does this person plan on taking towards Libra? The Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this person could be at a distance or this is them removing themselves from, you know, overthinking about the situation. Six of Cups. Yeah, I see this person wanting to come back, wanting some type of reconciliation with you because they really can't get you off their mind. They've been missing you, or at least they will be here in May. 
This is definitely like some type of soulmate energy. I see this person finally getting out of this stagnant energy. Tell me more about the action. The Justice card. Okay, you could be dealing with another Libra or this is them just wanting to come forward and wanting to bring balance and fairness into the situation connection. Tell me more about the action this person plans on taking towards Libra. This could also talk about them wanting to come forward and have a conversation about possibly moving things to a higher level of commitment, marriage. Tell me more about the action this person plans on taking. The action. Yeah, this person's scared of rejection. The Empress and the Five of Swords in reverse. I see them no longer fighting this connection, no longer running away from it. They're going to approach you in a very mature manner here. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person's not going anywhere, Libra, okay? And the Two of Swords. I feel like this person may be at a crossroads when they come towards you, but honestly, like, it might be you, Libra. I feel like this is more your energy where you're going to have to make a decision here of whether or not you want to have something stable long-term with this person. Yeah, Eight of Wands. There's communication coming in here. And a love offer from a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. And I'm also picking up on heavy, maybe another Libra, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a fixed sign as well. So yeah, I do see this person communicating, Libra. Let's see, tell me more. Yeah, the temperance card, Sagittarius energy. I feel like they want to heal the situation. They want to bring the situation into balance. The magician wanting to come forward here, wanting to manifest you. Let me go ahead and just clarify what this person wants to communicate. What is it that they want to tell Libra? Because I feel like you're going to have to make a decision after this communication takes place. What is it that they want to tell Libra, please? I'm just going to spare. What is it this person wants to tell Libra? The Wheel of Fortune. The Star card, Aquarius Energy. And the King of Pentacles. Yeah, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy and Aquarius here. I feel like this person wants to turn things around with you. They want to have success with you. You are this person's wish fulfillment. They hope and dream about you here. They want to offer stability, commitment, something stable, something long term, something serious. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person doesn't want to stay single anymore. Or they don't want to see you single. The chariot, they want to move very quickly here. For some of you, this person could be at a distance. So maybe the decision you will have to make, Libra, is if you want to be with this person, if you want to be in a relationship, if you're willing to go the distance. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. But let's go ahead and take a look at singles. Libra singles, please. Six of Cups. It's getting really hot in here, guys. Had to take off my sweater. One more. Six of, or seven of Cups here. So yeah, definitely a decision here. Um, something that you're gonna have to decide, Libra, in May. It could be in regards to a relationship, a job, a direction you want to go towards. I feel like someone here wants to reconcile with you. I know this is for, I know this is singles looking for new love, but I will say someone from your past is wanting to reconcile because they've been missing you a lot, thinking about the times you two shared. Seven of Cups, you may be confused here in May, or you may have multiple options. Tell me more. 
Libra singles. Ten of Cups. Beautiful. I see that you are going to be enjoying your time with your family. Maybe going out to celebrate. And the Moon card in reverse. You may find out about some secrets. Maybe about a relationship you had in the past that was very in and out or very on and off. One more. Some of you could be meeting a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Singles, Libra. Singles, Libra. The Six of Wands. I feel like there's good news coming in here. Recognition, approval, success here. But I do feel like someone from your past is going to come back. Just got to throw that out there. But again, you could be meeting a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone who's very attractive, ambitious, decisive, bold. You may be a little bit guarded though, because maybe you have multiple options or you have a lot of things going on in your life. All right, let's go ahead and see what crystal comes out here for you. Got any just Holy Spirit? What crystal do you have for the sign of Libra, please? Tiger eye. Animals. Solar plexus chakra, the number 39 could be significant. The color brown. This crystal is really good for protection as well. Let's see. What angel number do you have for the sign of Libra, please? The angel number do you have for the sign of Libra? 13. I am confident. You are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with a creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. I am confident. But all right, Libra, this was your love reading for May 2022. If it did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.